Good day and welcome back to another Blue Archive video. It's been a while, but we're back. Uh, took a break, busy doing some other stuff, but we're back. And we're taking a look at the banners that are currently up with a couple of limited characters. So we have Haruna New Year, Fuka New Year, and Akari New Year. Now, Akari New Year is the only non-limited banner out of all of these ones. And obviously, disclaimer as always, you should summon for units you like. Don't worry so much about summoning for characters that are always good in the meta. Uh, this game is about collecting uh, cute girls that fire guns. It's not really about being the best player in the world. I mean, it is for some, but generally speaking, don't worry about it. Now, Akari, she is a permanent character, so you don't need to summon for her. She's one of the three that basically is that way. But Akari is actually very useful. She's strong and flexible as an AoE buffer. She's good in all three Mystic Raids. And she's pretty solid for most things due to the fact that she's, you know, a good Mystic Effectiveness buffer. She provides tons of Mystic Effectiveness buffs. She's okay defensively. And basically, she's very AoE orientated. Her issue is that she's not so strong in a single target scenario, but generally speaking, if you're looking for an AoE or even a single target Mystic Buffer, she could be the unit that is for you. So definitely is a bit of a reason to summon for her, but you have to consider the other banner banners that are currently up. The next one we'll take a look at is Haruna New Year. Now Haruna New Year is a little bit interesting. So she is a explosive damage dealer that's great in both aoe and single target damage so she's a very good explosive damage dealer the problem is is right now explosive damage dealers are still probably the most limited damage type characters like in the game just due to raid design and game mode availability she has a good defensive debuff she is really solid in extreme and insane light armor raids and she has great high explosive aoe and single target damage but she's a limited student, which means you can only summon for her once per year. She's not the best single target or AoE damage dealer. And basically, there are some concerns around utilization of her EX skill. Overall, she's a good unit that if you're really into her, obviously can pull. I don't think there's a problem pulling for her. However, if you're looking for specifically single target explosive, or specifically AoE Explosive, they're better options. But if you're looking for someone that can kind of cover you with both, and also is a fairly collectible character, then of course you can go for Haruna. Then finally, we have Fuka New Year. Now Fuka New Year is a little bit different to the other two, in that she is a support type character, but she's very interesting because she is a hybrid. So she basically is like a half of a UE and half of an Echo but in one unit, which makes it very interesting. Uh, she's kind of not better than either of them in what they do, but she does a bit of both of what they have. So that's where she's very interesting. Obviously, she does reduce uh, EX costs, which is very good, except it's only for half the time that Yui does. And she does buff crit damage, but doesn't buff crit rate like Echo. But she's a good choice, especially if you're looking for a flexi hybrid pick. She's a really solid unit that provides a lot of team building options. She pairs great with units like Mika. She's a nice stat stick with higher stars. And she's fairly solid in terms of like cheap EX skills and just general survivability increases. If you have Aiko and Yui, your need for Fuka New Year isn't so high, but you can still grab her as a limited character and due to her flexibility in terms of what she brings team building. Out of all three units, I'd probably say that Fuka is maybe the one to go for, especially if you're missing Eiko and Yui, then Akari, and then finally Haruna. But yeah, 